three, two, one, ignition, and lift off. Go Falcon, go to ignition. Asteroids and meteorites are far from dull lumps of space rock. This is one that fell to Earth in Australia, and you can see how rich it is in metal. In fact, somebody's actually tried to turn it into a doorknob. And that's the attraction of asteroids. They've brought in a lot of metals to Earth, but it's buried deep below the crust. In fact, if you're trying to find things like platinum group metals, which are essential to a lot of our everyday tech, it's two miles down, expensive to reach, and difficult to bring out to the surface. But now, people are talking about sending spacecraft to an asteroid to do the mining there and then bring back the metals. Odin deployed, as you heard over the net. A company called Astroforge has now sent a spacecraft called Odin to go and rendezvous with an asteroid called 2022 OB5. They'll meet a million miles from Earth. This first mission is to take pictures of this asteroid. It's about 100 meters wide, just to be sure that it is a metallic asteroid. Later this year, they'll then send another spacecraft to land on the surface to extract some of the samples and test to prove that it really does contain a lot of these platinum uh, group metals. If that then happens, you can expect in the years to come that there will be many more mining expeditions. They reckon they could extract a thousand kilograms of platinum metals over three months with very little energy and then bring them back to Earth. And some say that would be less damaging than mining back here.